found the content to be pretty straightforward, then I am excited that you feel that way. Uh, this next one is going to be a little bit more complex uh, simply because we're going to be doing something where we're um, deleting files from S3, but we are also going to delete files not from the main bucket path, but from a subdirectory. So for this, I'll need you to go uh, over to your console um, just for the sake of time and basically go into your um, your equivalent of my 3000 bucket, the bucket that we've been working into, that we've been working on, where we created the example and test folder and go ahead and click on example. And I want you to, to upload some files here. Um, so I'm gonna go to my finder and these uh, CSV files that I have that I'll be linking or any files that you have, just uh, select like a handful, four or five or any number that you want and go ahead and upload them to this example folder. So what we want to be able to do uh, with Python is uh, essentially target a subfolder and delete the contents because, um, you know, just like anything in, in uh, yeah, like just like your laptop, basically, um, you're going to organize things in a certain way. Things are going to be in subfolders. They're not always going to be in the main folder. So let's just go ahead and practice coding some things that will help us um, basically delete uh, these objects within like this example object. So as you remember, it's truly not really a folder, even though it's like kind of says folder here, but we want to be able to like, you know, handle like these instances. All right, so if you did that, you'll have, you know, these four files inside your example folder. Let's go ahead and start coding. Um, and let's create a new file. Okay, and this one we will just call it, um, 06 delete file s3.py. Okay, uh, for this one, we're only gonna need the bottle three library. And uh, as, as we've been doing, we'll instantiate our client. So we'll say client equals bottle three client s3. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and set the um, the name of the bucket that we're targeting. So bucket equals uh, S3 OSK bucket 3000. S3 OSK. And of course, your bucket name is going to be different because as we know, you can't have the same bucket name that already exists. Okay, so let's let's take a first step and just you know list all the objects uh, in the bucket, right? And it's the same thing that we did before. So I'm just gonna say all objects equals client dot list objects, and the parameter that we're gonna pass it is bucket, and uh, we're gonna be pretty much grab all the metadata for this bucket of the objects, right? Um, <clears throat> then we'll just, you know, print the contents, basically. So um, I'll put a little message here so it's kind of easier to read in the console here. We'll say list of objects in, and I'll just put a bucket here in our bucket. That way it looks like a nice, you know, clean message here. So I'll say for A and all objects. And we're looking at the content specifically. Print a key which holds the uh, object names. So contents is what it has, key is basically the name of it. Okay. And if, if I want to, you know, I can actually just run that code right now to see what it, what it gives me. So I'll do that, Python 06. And notice this time I'm doing an internal down here because it's just more convenient. But um, I'll, I'll use the other terminal uh, for, for the remainder though. So Python 06, delete files. And what we're gonna see is we're gonna see all the listings of that um, of this bucket here. 
uh, example, example cities, uh, Oscar underscore H female profiles, and so on, the test folder. The, these are all the objects within that bucket. So we know that's, that's what we have. <clears throat> now what I want to do is, because I'm going to be deleting multiple files within the bucket, and I'm really just interested in deleting everything that is in the example folder, uh, I'm going to create a function. Right? It's going to make it a lot easier for me to just kind of reuse uh, the delete method uh, for, uh, for like this client's in client instance. So I'm going to define the function, and then we'll call it del file, and I'm going to pass the file name over to it. Right. So uh, in here, I'm going to call the delete object function or method, however you want to call it. Um, and the parameters that I'm passing are which bucket am I going to be deleting from, and then the key, which is going to be the file name, right? what I'm passing here. And that's pretty much it. Uh, if, if you see the squiggly line on yours, it's probably because you have like a pep8 or some sort of you know, formatting thing going on. So let's put a comment here, function for deleting files. Okay. Uh, next, I want to go ahead and um, and just kind of list and then just just make a note of which files are going to be deleted, right? So th this is just more for us to kind of follow along with the program. And um, so I'm gonna say print. Let's see, list of files to be. Deleted, and in order to choose the files that I want to delete, I want to select all the ones that are under the example subdirectory. So I'm going to need to find a way to identify that. Um, so let's go ahead and think about that here. We're actually going to have to get the metadata from the all objects. So we're going to say um, for a in all objects inside contents. If example, if the example object or string rather in the object listing, right, the object value that's being listed here in a key and let's see, a key is actually not equal to example forward slash and the reason we're doing that here is basically we're saying like if this substring of text is within this key value here and this key value is not explicitly equal to example forward slash which means like our aka subfolder or really the object uh, then we want to take an action right and so we're going to say print File to be deleted from a key. All right, so we're going to say we're, we're going to delete that file. And then we're actually going to instantiate the, or excuse me, call our method and then actually delete the file. So we'll say delete file and then a key, which is like what's holding the file name here. So as long as the um, as long as the string has the word example and it's not the actual example object or our subfolder in this case, uh, we're going to delete it. So we're going to print a message saying that, hey, we're going to delete this, and then we're actually going to delete it. So um, then after that, let's see. Yeah, I guess we can just um, print another message. And say files deleted or you know deletion processed I guess whatever makes sense to you um, and then we'll go ahead and call all objects again or or actually send a request to list all objects client dot list objects Bucket. bucket. So basically, we're going to list 
all the objects in that bucket after we've gone through and deleted the file. Um, and then we will go on and list the objects one, one more time. And for that, we can just reuse our code that we have up here. We don't have to like retype it or anything. All right, so we'll call this refresh metadata. Okay, because we're, we're, we're bringing back all the objects information. And refresh object metadata. Just call that object metadata. Um, and then we'll, you know, we'll iterate through that, um, through the objects and then just kind of print out what's left. So if you recall, uh, when we ran it earlier, we printed a list of all the things, uh, excuse me, all the files that are example. And then the next thing that we're doing is that we are um, creating a method uh, or a function, excuse me, in order to uh, delete the file names. So uh, if like the object name uh, does uh, has like the substring of example, right? Just like this one does, or and um, it's not the example subfolder itself, then we're going to go ahead and delete that object, and then uh, and then we'll just you know provide a confirmation message, and then uh, refresh the metadata just to see what objects exist there to like kind of confirm the deletion, and then at the very end of that. Um, We'll just kind of print out the contents again. And so basically we're going to expect for anything, any of these four files to be deleted. And just for example, profiles of 07, the test folder to remain, right? Just like it did originally prior to us uploading the files. So um, I'm going to switch over to our terminal since that is just kind of a much larger screen. And I'll type Python. It's 07, right? I know it's 06. Delete files. Cool. And it did what it had to do. So first of all, it listed the objects in that bucket, right? All these that we're expecting. And then it just kind of gives you a quick confirmation, files to be deleted. And that is what was processed, deletion processed. And so like now the remaining list of objects in this bucket are example profiles.csv and test folder. And we can go to our console and just kind of take a look at this and then refresh. And we'll see that this is actually going to be empty. So let me close this out actually. Oh, well, actually by closing it out, it just takes me back to that example folder and like we don't have any more objects. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyways, that is, uh, you know, take take your time to kind of digest that. I know it was a lot of information because, you know, we're, we're using the metadata to kind of just identify these uh, file names and all that other stuff. So again, if you have to actually print all objects, see that big dictionary and then kind of parse through it yourself visually, uh, definitely do that so that you can kind of understand how we're using um, that data and then incorporating it into our Python so we can, you know, kind of process these uh, functions or methods uh, that are available in the client. Okay. Anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.